mom and um, the man Kevin that lives there. They got in like a prank war. Ah. <laughs> um, it started like he. Um, my mom has like all the flowers and stuff on the porch, like the walking up into our house, and he would just like have everyone move stuff when they were walking to the bus stop, and. <laughs> Then, like, she would start, like, stealing his fireman statue and, like, putting it in different people's lawns and making him look for it. <laughs> and then, like, it, it escalated. Like, he um, eventually, like, placed it an ad on Cra Craigslist with, like, her cell phone number. So, like, she had, like, eight puppies and they had all their shots and they were free and kid-friendly. <laughs> and then, like, she put, like, 2,000 ping pong balls in his car. Oh, <laughs> little, oh little, that's good. And that's a good one. He like, yeah, he just found the go. ice cream cone uh, at, like, on someone's garbage one day and like brought it over to be funny. And like, he wanted to keep it. Like, he's like, what'd you do with the ice cream cone? And she's like, no, I, I like it. I'm going to keep it. Hi, I'm Mia Smart. i um, from Comac, New York. I'm 16 years old. And I was diagnosed with osteosarcoma for the first time in May of 2011 and again in May of 2014. It was pretty difficult, especially the second time. That was definitely worse. Um, it had, like, obviously a large impact on my life. I was not able to, from sixth grade up until 11th grade, I wasn't able to attend a full year of school. So that definitely had a large impact on me because I really value school and that was hard to, um, especially not being able to see your friends. And that was definitely the hardest part for me. How are you doing in school now? Uh, I'm doing great. Um, I'm a senior and it's getting ready, like filling out my college applications. And my school is an international baccalaureate school and I'm an IB candidate. So I take like all advanced classes and yeah, so it's That's exciting good. moving yeah. forward. Now, what are some of the colleges? Well, my older sister went to Northeastern. I know I'm definitely applying there. Okay. And I'm not exactly sure where else I want to go, but I'm still narrowing down the search. But I know I'll definitely want to do something in science, like um, maybe nursing or biomedical engineering or something in that field. Yeah, I definitely want to go and like live on campus somewhere. That would be nice to just get the full college experience. Cool. What would you tell other patients around the country who might be face, facing the same thing? Um, I would just say try always to stay positive and even in the hardest times you can always find something to be happy or laugh about. And the people around you will always make you feel better and there's always kindness in the world. You always see people reaching out and doing special things that can just make your day that much better. It always helped me to always like plan ahead and look at for things that I could look forward to. Like um, the first time I was in my treatment, we uh, we planned my make wish during like chemotherapy treatments. So I would always think about things that were coming up that would help me just get through it. I know um, Max Care Foundation is helping to fundraise for rare childhood cancers because um, not, not a lot of money goes towards childhood cancers because they're so rare, so it's definitely an area that needs to be fundraised for more, which is why the work that Max Care does is so important. Um, and I know that you, Max Care offers financial assistance for families going through cancer treatment, which is also important because um, my mom wasn't able to work for five years, which definitely impacted my family, and I'm sure it impacts every family. So that's definitely also an important thing and very helpful to families that have children going through cancer treatment. Your mom actually stopped working for five years to help take care of you. you she still worked, that. but she didn't work um, as many hours as she did. She, she was lucky. She still was able to keep working part-time, but she definitely didn't work as frequently as she would have if I was not in treatment. You have brothers and sisters? I have two older sisters, Megan and MJ. Um, they're six and nine years older than me. And they're, I have a, I'm really close with my sisters, so they were also um, very helpful during my treatments too. My dad was great too. Um, 
it was convenient because I was treated at Sloan and he works in the city. Oh, okay. So he would drive me and my mom in every day on his way to work, which was very helpful because it's difficult when you have to go to the hospital, especially because he could just drop me and my mom off. If you only have one parent that can drive you, that's hard to try to get in and out of the hospital and having to park and everything. So that was great. My oncologist was Dr. Myers, and I had a really close relationship with the nurse practitioner, Paulette Kelly, there. And all the nursing, the nursing staff was amazing. I, um, both like inpatient and just in a day hospital, everyone was really nice and friendly, and you were able to like develop relationships with the nurses because you saw them every day. And the teachers were nice. I um, saw the teachers a lot because school is an important aspect of my life. So I always like to stay on top of my schoolwork there. So that was important to me as well. I think she's pretty smart. <laughs> what kind of science? Uh, what do you have? That, can you? Can you give a little better idea? Say you want to go into the science. Do you have any idea, maybe specifically, what you might want to do? Um, well, I definitely am interested in chemi chemistry and biology. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm still undecided as of now, but I know for sure something in science and chemistry and biology will probably be a big aspect of my future career. Um, to anyone out there that is currently being treated for any sort of childhood cancer, just know that it seems like it's going to be forever right now, but you are going to get through this and your life is going to move forward and you'll be back to normal soon and you're going to live a long and happy life. I don't think anyone could put it much better than that. No. <laughs> and so the prognosis is good. Yeah. Go Thanks. shake her hand. Go I, shake her yeah. hand on camera because you did that before. Okay. Uh, I sneak in here. Yeah, <laughs> See, Kevin's a handsome guy and we always like him. I don't know about that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Seriously. You. I mean, your story is one of the most inspiring I've ever heard in my entire life. It's short, but my short life, but truly what you've gone through <coughs> is just amazing. <coughs> and I wish you the best of luck in life. Thank you. So... So we want to get, so just real quickly, we'll walk around the house. Let me pull this up again. That's terrific. Did I shake? Thank you very much. He just saved an expensive camera. <laughs>